Hi guys, welcome. This is our reading for the remaining portion of October 2016. It's a little different, but I got some spice to add to the reading. I bought all new decks just to kind of freshen things up. So I'm using The Secret Language of Animal Oracle Cards by Chip Richards. I have two decks by Nicoletta Sisoli. Um, one is the Tarot and one is the Oracle. Um, and then the Fairy Tarot Cards by Doring Virtue and Rally Valentine and Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. So I'm doing a pretty raw reading this week. Everything is new. I just got these cards today. Um, so this reading is for around October 21st through October 31st, 2016. I would say for a more detailed reading for yourself, perhaps check out your sun, moon, and rising sign for, uh, I, I would say, see which one connects to you or perhaps you'll connect to them all, but remember it's a general reading. So see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you, how you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you in the end. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for the wave, crashing into the wave, riding the wave, or ignoring the wave. Also feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, try to check out the links that I provide below. See if there's more signs and depth to um, the rest of October in those videos below. And show your love and support to the artists and musicians. Thank you for joining me. I love you guys and I'll see you in a moment. Hello Aquarius. Welcome. This is our reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Inquiry for the rest of October. So around the 21st to the 31st of October 2016. Let's begin and see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for Aquarius for the highest, greatest good of all. Start with one card. Focus, clarity, and understanding these energies. How to write them best. Wisdom for us all. Then, uh, the I had it upside down. The Six of Swords. So sailing to smoother waters, um, putting something to rest. I feel like you actually found a way to rest and to um, almost like give some responsibility away, um, put somebody else to work, maybe, um, or. You're doing all the work to get somewhere and there's someone else just snoozing. Um, I feel like, like a storm came and just washed all the toys all over the place, washed all your things all over the place. Everything's in the water, you know, everything is all over and it's just not even worth saving, like after a, um, like a flood, you know, something like that. Something was destroyed and circumstances beyond your control came and out of this situation, there's 
it's actually, it's funny. It's like the lid of a coffin. There's all these like little toys and then there's a coffin lid. But she looks like a uh, sleeping beauty. You know, there's, there's like rosy cheeks here. So she's just sleeping. So, hmm. and then there's this little bunny who is sort of just, on the boat, on the lid with her, and sort of just, um, I think of like a gondola, like um, something like that. So the water isn't that deep. Something came and flooded the surface of something and washed something away, destroyed something, um, brought everything up to the surface, made something sink. Um, and there's like one situation you're saving, or there's one thing you're bringing with you. There's one person that's coming with you, or, um, I don't know, I just, I actually feel like, I don't know, I got this scenario of this little girl um, having this whole, or this little boy here, having this situation going on, and uh, trying to save this whole situation, not succeeding, but saving this person, this friend, this um, event, this something that brought you strength or is going to bring you strength. Um, I feel like this one is strong now, but I feel like this one was strong before, if that makes sense at all. So I feel like this one has to rest, needs to rest. It's important to rest. And this one... This character is a little sad that it's leaving its home environment, the last place it was, what it knew, what you knew. Um, and yeah, it takes a little effort now to get out of that situation and leave. So I feel like you either need to like um, put a situation to rest, you know, and bring it along, go with it, you know, tackle it later. Um, have a conversation later when you get there. This could also mean like actual travel, an actual trip, Aquarius, somewhere that you're going. Um, maybe you're leaving something behind. That's why there's a tear in the little bunny's eye. Um, but I feel like there's peace in, you know, her or him, you know, so you're moving towards peace. The waters are calm. There's no storm now. There's something that was lost or, you know, not good anymore, but you you have a way to leave, you know? So you're putting something away. There's, uh, like, I think of the coffin, I think of death. So, um, you know, there's something that you have to leave behind so you can transform. Maybe transform your energy, conserve your energy, um... Uh, six, so maybe you're you're um, balancing out the energy. You're helping somebody leave a situation, or somebody's helping you leave a situation that you know you're. Um, I feel like a support with this, and I feel like you're each driving. A, you're each like getting behind the wheel for part of the time, if that makes sense. Like going somewhere, somebody drives for three hours, the other person drives for three hours. Um, you know, somebody does something before you go and the other person will handle it when you get back. Like, um, you know, maybe somebody doesn't want to do it. Somebody does, but I feel like it's going to bring back balance in that situation. It's going to move you towards smoother waters in that situation. I feel like there was communication there, but understanding that um, there's a time to work and there's a time to rest. You know, there's a time to cry and there's a time to move on. A time to mourn. Uh, I'm getting that. So, um, you know, this too shall pass as well. Uh, let's go to the secret language animals, oracle cards. I mean, it's definitely passing with the six. You're definitely going somewhere better with this. You've learned to navigate something, that storm, that situation. You learned how to get out of something, that storm, that situation, that conversation, that relationship, that... Uh, that place that you were stuck or that it was just not working. It was rough. You were learning something there. It took learning something to get out, um, to see a different way out, um, 
to get past the storm. To go around the storm next time, Aquarius. Let's get another card for more clarification on the Six of Swords, Aquarius. The B. So creativity, purpose, harvest, and devotion. So, you know, I feel like, you know, you're making it work. Whatever you need to do. Taking naps if you have to. To, to get yourself to move, you know, to get your energy, I feel like power naps, something like that, like being creative, um, having a purpose. It's 31, so you're being creative, but it's bringing you to, you to a four, to stability, to something sweet. You're going somewhere sweet here. Um, I feel like you're also, like, I feel like work, you know, everyone has a purpose, a place, a time, you know, putting things in order, working together, um, I'm just thinking how important honey is and nectar and the nutrients and um, I'm thinking like pollinization. Um, I see the sunshine here. So opportunity, um, purpose, you know, knowing your job, knowing what you have to do, knowing, knowing time for, know, they're also like, when I think of the bees, like we have bees and they work all, all summer long into the fall and they gather everything they can to prepare themselves for the winter when they sort of like hibernate. You know, they make sure the queen has everything she needs. You know, everything's taken care of and they do their best so that they're prepared for harvest or for um, hibernation, whichever it is. Um, but I feel like this is a time to prepare Know the focus. Know which season it is, um, Aquarius. Um, um, prepare for the harvest. Gather your harvest. Um, you know, do it. Don't plant the garden and forget to pick the vegetables kind of thing. Um, you know, get yourself ready for the winter. Put them all together and start, you know, uh, slow cooking the green tomatoes and stuff like that. Um... I guess I'm going to use the fairy um, tarot cards next. Let's get another card for Aquarius. It just sort of grabbed this deck. All right. Let's get more clarity for 31, the B, and the Six of Swords journey. The Nine of Summer, and that's your wish coming true. That's sparkly light just for you. It's magic. It's beauty. It's pure intention and when your wishes get bigger than you thought bigger than you imagined it's better than you even thought here you were just you just wanted to get out you wanted to leave uh, you're done you know but here it's like oh, you, you know you would have got gotten out sooner you know you would have made that storm happen and learn to navigate it on purpose sooner had you know this is coming this is wishes coming true dreams fulfilled a magical time in life Harvest, you know, sweet honey, nectar. Um, I just heard choices, so maybe you have multiple choices, Aquarius. You know, multiple wishes coming true. Um, I'm getting, um, I'm focused on the fabric, Aquarius, for some reason. The fabric... Um, and I want to say like the little petticoat here. Um, it's, it almost looks like it's, oh, I don't know, I want to say gold, gold and satin. Um, it's almost like you're lighting up the dark with your outfit, with your look, with your, um, with your changes maybe, with your growth, you know, with where you've come. Now you're sparkling, now you're going out. Maybe you're getting ready different. You're doing something different with yourself. Um, the Nine of Summer is also like, it's like the Nine of Cups. So it's also like the genie in a bottle. So know what you want. Have focus. Have clarity. Um, know how much more you can have out of this. I feel like it's big. Like it's helpful to everyone. It's abundance for everyone. It's harvest for everyone. You're playing your part. And... Like, you get abundance and everybody else, too. I feel like you're also helped here. I feel like there's somebody around you, maybe older, someone kind of wise, a sister, a friend, a grandfather, 
um, you know, your boys or girls, something like that, who's just attentive to you, helpful, helps you um, see that opportunity that you need, that you need. Like maybe you don't even realize it's so big until you um, somebody sort of like brings attention to it. Um, I feel like there's um, somebody bringing something to attention to you, Aquarius, or that's you to somebody else. Um, like somebody bringing a little magic your way. Um, and then like, it's almost like, like they're leaving you their magic wand and letting you go. And you can then do what you want and it stays with you and you can create another one and pass that along to somebody else. That something like that, where you don't really lose, you just get to use it a little bit and experiment and learn and then just sort of pass it along. And then you get like a version and somebody else gets their own version and they do something different with that. Like everyone sort of sparkles after you get this opportunity, this chance, um, this wish. Um, what are you dreaming of Aquarius? What have you been waiting for? What do you want to happen? You know, what is this magic, you know, where you feel free, you feel sparkly? Um, let's go to Oracle cards and get another card for Aquarius. For the bee, the six of swords, and the nine of summer. That's also completion. You're complete with something that's like at the top of your game, you know? It's just feeling that way, feeling like you're at the top of your game, even if it's for a moment. That moment is that important. Um, 20. So, karma. Um, so, I want to say be careful what you wish for here again. Um, you know, if you wish for something that's knocking somebody else down, that's not really helpful to you or that person, energetically speaking, karma-wise. Karma so when you change that energy towards wishes and dreams and desires that are beneficial for you and somebody else, so somebody else can benefit too. You know, so I wanna say don't attach to a person or a particular particular thing too much with this. Be open with your wishes here so that something better than you thought can come in. So that it's not that thing you're wishing and maybe there's a better wish over here you didn't see because you're focused on the wrong one. You know, don't focus on the things floating in the water. Focus on the new, bigger things coming in. So um, pay attention to your focus. Make sure your focus is pure and loving and has um, healing in it, healing vibrations for yourself, forgiveness for yourself, forgiveness for others. Um, I would say, like, be careful what you wish for. It might come true. You know, what happens after that wish comes? Um, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to make it useful or are you going to just sit on it? Um, I would say be careful of something coming back to sort of bite you in the ass here a little bit. It's almost like, you know, you're reading, you're doing something, you're into a book, you're not paying attention, and this big bunny comes right to the window behind you. You know, like, dun 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 Are you home? I thought you said you weren't home today. You know, it's not like, see, it's like the neighbor or your mom or someone that's like, you said you were doing this. How come you're not... Why are you here when you should be doing that? It's that kind of thing. Like, just be cautious of everything that everything has um, pure intent um, um, and truth. You know, if you, um, I would say, like, mean what you say here. You know, stand firm with what you say. And, I don't know, I almost feel like, There's this little tiny doorway and the it's funny. It's like she's on this, she or he is on this little um, chair, you know, and the door is sort of small. Everything's sort of proportion here. But this window is huge and it's 
just perfectly portioned for proportion for a bunny that size. It's like you must have expected a bunny that size to come with a window that big. I hope that was helpful. Um, but a two is feminine. It's allowing something to be, allowing what happened to, you know, it happened, it happened. And um, do what you can to change that situation, to react how you can, you can to that situation. Um, I would say just turn around and face that situation, have a conversation and say what you mean here, you know? If you're busy reading the book, be like, I'm busy reading the book right now and I'll get back to you later. You know, it's just um, whatever it is here. Um, I feel like it's facing something, you know, or something's coming up you have to deal with and it just will balance things out somehow. It's also karma in, you know, really beautiful ways. Like you have to look at every side of the card. So maybe she was dreaming about this bunny dreaming about this big fluffy bunny for so long that she was thinking about it and reading about it and in her little house she was like maybe if I make a window big enough for that big bunny maybe someday he'll come someday you know and one day you know that beautiful until she just waited and waited and she's like I'll just wait one day one day it'll come one day that chance will come one day that job will come one day that home will come. One day that thing. Whatever it is, that's this wish, you know? And so it goes both ways. Um, so, and then one day that big bunny just comes. You're like, oh, I have been waiting for you for so long. I saw you in my mind before you ever came. I made that big window just for you. I'm so happy to see your big bunny ear shadow in front of my feet, even though it probably scared the shit out of me right away. So, you know, it's, I feel like something unexpected and expected, you know, expect the unexpected maybe. All right, let's move along and pull one more card for Aquarius for the rest of October. Um, another card for 20, Karma, the Nine of Summer. That's like the Nine of Cups. 31 the B and the Six of Swords. Focus on love, Aquarius. 24, that brings you to a six, which brings you back around into balance. You know, complete balance. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. The beauty in the ugly. You know, the dark parts of people in ourselves. The shadows, the situations, you know, the storms. Um, the arguments, you know, when people say ugly words. And, you know, maybe you meant it at the time, maybe you didn't. But, you know, seeing through that, getting past that, healing that, recognizing the beauty in people and sharing that with them and others recognizing that in you. Um, it's changing those thoughts. It's also this. It's also like karma. It's when you look at somebody and you're like, oh, why did they do that? Or why did this person? When you think like, like lower vibration thoughts that are like gossip or putting somebody down or pushing somebody lower because it feels makes you feel better or that someone around you maybe that's someone around you you know um gossip or something somebody always sort of like talking and you can see the beauty in people in situations i feel like you're changing that situation around either leaving gossip or something like that or taking gossip in your head or the the negative thoughts in your head or the things that are maybe judgmental about others in your head or you think others are judging you and they're not and stopping that thought and changing it on purpose. It can change your whole world around. It can bring you to a whole different place when you put a little honey and sweetness on your thoughts. So 
you know, don't punish yourself if you think something like snotty towards somebody. We all have weird thoughts. We're all human. You know, things come up. But if you're like that and then you keep it going or you talk to somebody else about it or you get involved with someone else that's talking about that, now you're putting more energy into it. But if you have a thought and you're like, oh, why do they, why are their pants so tight? Or, you know, why did they... Why do they do that with that thing that looks so, so, maybe they don't even know or care, you know, but stop that thought and be like, but, but, mm, you know, who, who cares? Maybe they had a bad day or did this thing or whatever. And, you know, I have my weird days where I do this and eh, that's okay. But I really like those shoes or that person's always kind of chipper. And I wish, you know, I was kind of easy going like that and didn't care so much about going out in my crazy pants, something like that. Change your mind around to change that situation around in your head maybe first or someone else towards you so you see the beauty in a situation in every situation you know i think aquarius you can do that i think you're able to see the beauty in situations in people in friendships you know so look for the good in yourself in others in every everywhere you know, every situation to try to find that light, to try to find where it brought you, that chance that it brought you out of something towards something better, towards your wishes. All right. I love you, Aquarius. I hope this was helpful and you have a beautiful remainder of October and I'll see you soon. Bye.